my unboxing for the Try the World's Holiday Box. And this is $39. And it comes with all kinds of holiday goodies. And it was helped curated by Michelin Guides. And if you want to subscribe, you can get a free Italy box when you subscribe and get this box as your first box. I also have a coupon code to save you, I believe, 30% off. But all those details will be below. So this was shipped in a larger brown box. Um, it was kind of tucked in some packaging so it didn't shift around. I did receive this for review. Let's take a look and see what's inside. So right inside the lid, there's always a little guide to your box. When you open this up, it tells you the featured chef that partnered with this box and it tells you everything inside. When you flip it over, there's gonna be featured recipes for you to try out using the items in your box. So it's a really nice little guide that tells you a lot about your box. Got some packing stuff on top and I'm just gonna pull these out. They're packed really well. All right, so we have some Darling Sweet Toffee. This is from South Africa. And it says that they've been hiring locals to make their signature sweets since 2013. It says it's described as rich and creamy, made with pure butter um, from Darling, a South African town known for its excellent butter. It's also wrapped in recycled and biodegradable packaging. Use it with, uh, enjoy it with coffee, melt and drizzle over ice cream, or enjoy as a midnight snack. Yum. All right. Okay, we have some Spruce Wood Handmade uh, Cookie Company Canadian Maple um, Shortbread Biscuits. And I love shortbread, so this will be probably one of the first things I try. It says, rich with butter, shortbread was just once an expensive and precious treat reserved for Christmas. After running wildly popular uh, running a wildly popular catering company for over 25 years, Mark Poland founded Sprucewood, where he now specializes in baking sweet and savory shortbread cookies from scratch. Yum. Let's see if it's... Yeah. Let's see if you get a kind of look at... That's what it looks like. They look yummy. And for any items I try, I'll put that in the written review. Um, so, oh, this is cute. It's a little pineapple. So this is pineapple cake. It's from Taiwan. And this is a buttered cake filled with sweet and tangy jam. Pineapple cake is ubiquitous, is a ubiquitous pastry in Taiwan. And in Taiwanese, pineapple is pronounced Ongley, O N G L A I, um, which is similar to the phrase for the arrival and prosperity and fortune. So this is a popular gift during the lunar, during lunar New Year. Serve a tea, enjoy a quick breakfast, to give to a friend for good luck. Let's see if I can easily open that. That has a sticker. Well, I'll open it and have pictures in my right review chocolate tablets from Mexico. These are made from the best Mexican cocoa beans according to Aztec tradition. And the company also helps uh, marginalized communities by employing indigenous people in the area. Yum. It's tasty. Lemon curd from the United Kingdom. This is an English fruit preserve made with lemon sugar and eggs. It says in the late 19th century people served the homemade preparation to their guests when they visited for tea. And the company makes their lemon curd the old-fashioned way by cooking it over open pans. So you can mix it into a dessert. There's a recipe on the back for that. Uh, serve a scones or layer into a parfait. So really sounds like a tasty box. Date spread. This is from Israel. Dates are a symbol of good luck and a popular holiday food in the Mediterranean. So this is made with ripe fruit grown on a community farm in Israel. And it says the packaging process that follows provides working opportunities for disabled individuals in the community. All right, so we have a baking mix. And this is uh, from France. Margot and Scarlett are the two sisters 
um, behind this small French company that makes it easy to bake at home. This is a recipe, this is a mix for spiced bread and it's traditional um, French holiday cake made with milled organic flour and a variety of baking spices. The last item in the box is some truffle sauce from Italy. And it says, um, in 1980, the founder of this company ventured into the forest with his grandfather, an Irish setter. Thanks to his dog's keen sense of smell, he found his very first truffle and has been making a range of truffle products, including this sauce, since that day. That's what it looks like. And that is everything in the holiday box. So, looks like a great box. Looks a range of kind of savory, sweet, yummy treats in here. You can check out the written review for more pictures of everything. Again, if you want to subscribe, you can get a free Italy box, which I should have a review on my channel for that. Um, that will be linked down below to get a free Italy box when you subscribe to this box. $39 or you can get 30% off. I don't think you can combine them, but if you can, I'll put that down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.